afternoon, everyone. This is Pravit Rojanapruk from Kalsot English. Uh, we're here at Kalsot. I am uh, here with my Kalsot Thai colleague today, uh, Kun Peach Papasara Petnarong, to my uh, first right interview with our new Miss Earth Thailand 2023, uh, Miss Kara Brio. Kara Brio. Who's that? Cora, say hi in English. Hello, my name is Cora Hope Blio. I'm your Miss Earth Thailand 2023. And, and of course, the management, the president of Miss Earth Thailand organization, Dr. Surit Khan, On Song Grant is also here with us. Uh, we're going to do... I never did pageants before, before coming to Miss Earth, but mm -hmm. I was in the modeling industry. Okay. So, I didn't have a And then... Well, I would want to say about my family. My family, we are pretty eco-friendly, I would say. Like, we like we always taught each other to recycle. We have, like, a system at home. And we're, mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. trying to do our best. So I was kind of taught from a very young age mm -hmm. to, like, you know, take care of our planet as much as possible. You know, our trash is our responsibility. So when I saw that Miss Earth has an opening for auditions, I was... Mm -hmm. I couldn't give this up. I, I had mm -hmm. to join. I felt like it was my calling. I felt it was my duty because I wanted to be that voice. I always wanted to do something about, you know, like being aware that our planet is actually getting a lot of damage from human effects. Yeah. I wanted to be that voice to spread the message of being, you know, right. being eco friendly. So I found my opportunity and I took it. Right. I got the crown. Okay. What kind of yeah ad advocacy or campaign? Advocacy would be about trash management, just trash sourcing management. it from the from the source, so mm -hmm. from our homes. Mm -hmm. So because I feel like a lot of people when they buy products and consume a lot of plastic, a lot of right. you know, mm -hmm. one use materials, mm -hmm. they just throw it in the trash and they don't think about it again. I feel like you know those things could be recycled and stuff, but it has to start with you from your homes. Mm -hmm. So I feel. If people could start making it a habit mm -hmm. to like recycle, you know, paper, plastic, and all right. that, then they could like that can make a really big effect. Like that small thing could make a huge effect. And making it a habit to you know carry around a reusable water bottle, a Tupperware container, so right. you don't have to use a lot of one use plastic. That would mm -hmm. be like a very like it's a small thing that makes a huge impact if many people do it. <coughs> okay. So, for we got the crown. When you got this crown, how do you use this to be like promote your efficacy, like how cool. to speak to young people? I, I see that when getting this crown, I, it's an opportunity for me to get a lot more following, a lot of more voice, a lot of more mm -hmm. uh, a lot of more people would see me yeah. in you know and would hear me out because mm -hmm. being Miss Earth, it is a pageant, but it's not just about beauty and grace, but it's mm -hmm. about you know being a voice for mm -hmm. the unspoken for you know non voices the our our nature our animals mm -hmm. the plants and stuff they can't speak for us but they show us that they're being hurt every single day they have mm -hmm. so many things that's going on, on our planet that we see and hear but we choose to avoid and i want to be that voice mm -hmm. i want i want people to hear me and listen to how our planet doesn't have enough like not a lot of time left if we don't start now and you know come together and help the planet out mm, so you wear this it's a very important thing that to fix it yes it's 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 always been a problem our the pollution in our planet the environmental da the damage it has been affected by human uh by humans themselves it's just very unspoken about mm -hmm. and not a lot of people want to look at the side because yeah. We feel guilty, I would say. Yeah. I also, I feel very guilty when I see a lot of the things that we have done to our planet. I feel horrible about it. I don't want to hear about it. But this thing is, we have to listen, we have to hear, and we have to change our habits, and we have to change what we do on our daily lives because it is affecting our planet and the you know creatures and animals that are living in it. Mm. In, in, Tha in Thailand and, and probably in the Philipp in, in this part yeah. of the world, of course. Is there any reason? I mean, wha what's your I take think, on that? I think it's because it's a form of entertainment as well, mm -hmm. but it's not any physical or harmful like boxing or mm -hmm. Muay Thai, like Menon mm -hmm. said, but it's more like you're facing off each other with just beauty and the you know the smartness like what you have in your mind what you have to say because pageantry it's you know it's all about the beauty the dresses and like the answering on stage the q a and i feel a lot of people love to a lot of people like myself when i watch pageants i love looking at the pretty dresses the hair mm -hmm. and makeup it's mm -hmm. just 
it's just very entertaining for me. Mm -hmm. Even though it's really simple, just wearing a beautiful, elegant uh, gown yeah. can very can drag people in. And then when you know you're battling off in the Q and A, you're like, ooh, they don't even know what ans what mm -hmm. questions they're gonna get, mm -hmm. what are they gonna answer, you yeah. know, what happens if they mess up. Oh. So I think that's like a it's a very non physical kind of entertainment, but has a lot of power to it. Ask uh, Cara a little uh, about how, you know, what surprises her um, having joined, you know, be part of this uh, major, you know, beauty pageant industry. And, mm -hmm. and she, uh, she, she mentioned something about uh, the posturing, and maybe you want to say that in English for us? Well, yeah, the surprise that I got the most is just. There's many things, but the one thing is just even by sitting down, you have to have a correct way in sitting. Your posture have to be, you know, right up straight. Your legs have to be crossed a certain mm -hmm. way, and it's just like something that you're never used to. You never think about when you sit down. You like want to relax and stuff. You 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 kind of just want to relax, like you know, lay down, or maybe like your back starts getting mm -hmm. a bit. Mm -hmm. But in pageantry, you have to like you know, mm -hmm. act your very best because you're competing against many other ladies and women and you want to you want to look the best you want to pre be presenting yourself the best way yeah <laughs> I got a question like how to prepare for the speech because when I watch like the pageants I go how could she like answer that way how smart like I wouldn't say that I'm like crazy smart but like I have a basic knowledge of our mm. environment yeah. of our biodiversity mm -hmm. and of our planet like you know I know the problems that are we're facing mm -hmm. and we have to what we have to fix and just preparation I feel like you want to you know study as much as possible do you as much research as possible because mm -hmm. Miss Earth it's all about our planet it's about saving our planet and when it comes to speaking out loud you want to be confident and you want to be clear because you know when you go up there you kind of get nervous there's many mm -hmm. eyes yeah. on you so I would just say practice by speaking out loud in front of people as much as possible because you know you don't want to get nervous and then you just you know get stunned on the stage and you can't speak. เนี่ยแน่นอนคิดว่ามิสเอิร์ธเนี่ยสามารถตอบโจทย์ในเรื่องของในขณะที่เรายังมีฝุ่นพีเอ็มสองจุดห้ามีปัญหาเรื่องโ
Um, so these are the things that uh, she believes uh, are worth pursuing. Um, how bad is it in Chiang Mai? And, and don't you feel helpless? Because as we all know, it's not just a Thai problem, but part of it comes from across the border. So that's my first question in English and Thai, please. So I, would, I want to start off and say that Chiang Mai was a Chiang Mai is still a beautiful place. It's just gorgeous. It's surrounded by natures and sceneries that you can't imagine ever seeing out of Chiang Mai. But of course, we have you know the air pollution problem that hits us every year. Growing up didn't really hit us that much, but then the last couple years back ago, it started hitting really hard. And do I feel helpless? Um, at the beginning, yes, I did because I know that part of the problem was also from us and also from our neighboring countries. Because Chiang Mai is, you know, it, it's like a bowl. We're surrounded by mountains, so when the wind comes and the, you know the they, the pollution from other countries, you know, they're swept, and it comes to Chiang Mai, and it kind of gets stuck there because you know it's just surrounded by mountains. So it's it's like a bowl that just keeps all the pollution and stuff. And then Chiang Mai people as well, the farming, they you know they like to burn their grass and like you know cut down trees and burn them off. That's also like you know they're adding on to the problem. So I wanted to start with like you know fixing the problem in our own country first because that can make a significant difference. But then when it comes to other countries, of course we can't just go out and control them. We we need this more like a unity, like a peace conference, like Chiang Mai and our neighboring countries. You know we we need to like work something out because it's affecting not only their countries but our country and. It shouldn't be our problem to fix because we honestly try our best, you know, to be like eco-friendly and like try to like you know do less damage as possible. Because Chiang Mai is such a beautiful place; it's so green. But just when the pollution comes, I do feel very sad, and I I, I wish I could really do something about it. But this is something that the government needs to you know take in hand with you know Laos and Burma. Right. Because me alone, I can't do this. Ka, ka. <laughs> uh, you're, you're the president, I mean, Dr. Sari Khan mentioned that you are actually Thai. Now, this is very interesting because so many uh, beauty queens and mm. those who didn't even get the crowns are actually uh, either, you know, half Thai, Eurasians, actually. I mean, what, what do you think, I mean, as a Eurasian yourself, you know, being half Thai, half Canadian, uh, what do you think about the fact that so many uh, uh, half Thai, half uh, America, half Thai, half European, or half Thai, half Canadians have you know entered the beauty pageants? And what do you think about that? Do you think people like yourself hold uh, undue advantage? Let me put it this <laughs> way, okay, over the non. Eurasian, okay. I mean, I use the word non-Eurasians because actually, even the non-Eurasian ties are mixed. You know, I'm like half Chinese. You know, <laughs> yeah. people got all, all sorts of ethnicity, but you know, it just look more prevalent when you're half foreign, so to yeah. speak. Uh, do you, what What do you think about the preference? Because it seems that uh, most of the you know, in most of the years, most of the crowns would go to not not all. I'm I'm fully aware of that, but let's say more than half of the crowns would go to uh, the Eurasian um, um, competitors. What do you think about that? And, and how do you, uh, do I, I mean, your identity, I find it very interesting because you said actually you feel, um, prior to the interview, you mentioned that you feel uh, slightly more comfortable in English than Thai. Is that correct? Yes. Although you grew up, actually, grew you grew up, up in Thailand. Thai, yeah. So uh, because I was like, okay, did you grow up somewhere? <laughs> and, I mean, you, your father came from Vancouver, am I correct? Yes. But actually, you grew up in Thai, and and yet you're more at home and at ease in English than in Thai. I mean, and, and I find it very. <laughs> let me just add one. Very bizarre, in a way. Very. I wouldn't want to use the word artificial. That wouldn't be a positive word. But very intriguing because actually there is a whole lot of new generations of of not just Eurasians, but uh, you know, well-off Thais who are sent to you know international school here in Bangkok or in, even in Chiang Mai. And these kids, and, and some of them have no Caucasian blood in them, mm -hmm. uh, were you know, raised in such a way that they feel more at ease and comfortable in English than in Thai. Mm -hmm. And I thought it's a little bizarre because they spend most of their life in Thailand. Yes. Their parents are actually <laughs> have zero foreign blood. 
but you know some of them couldn't even write Thai anymore and, but, and, and they speak to their parents in English although their parents couldn't speak proper English what do you think about all this we uh, that's good yeah. for cars on English by the yeah. way <laughs> so it means we're so gonna get I, more I viewers. would say the reason why English is like predominantly used more mm -hmm. because is is because Thai is very hard mm. we well, have we have like not only just you know the ABCs we yeah. have the you know the A um what is it called Salah and uh, all yeah, that yeah, but yeah. like the tiny little details of Thai you know there's many there's oh my god there's too many words and too many <laughs> right yeah. alphabets I just mm -hmm. feel like they're really hard to learn all and remember all because English it's very simple you just got your alphabets and you just form your words that, mm -hmm. that that's it mm -hmm. but I could I could speak Thai I could speak Thai very good as well, but I feel like my vocabulary in English is way more expand is wider because uh, Thai words it's just you know how it's a similar spelling and similar yeah. wording yeah, but yeah, different yeah. words like dog and come. Yeah, yeah. Ma, ma. ma. Yeah, it's, it's like that. Mm -hmm. It's a bit confusing. So mm -hmm. I feel like when people when you learn two languages, Thai and English, your mind will go towards more English because it's simpler and you know, you don't have a lot of complications when it comes to spelling and saying the same word but not the same meaning. Right. Okay. Could Peach be like me, ma'am? So in November that you will join the Miss Earth International. Yes. So what do you think is your strength to beat with other commentators? Oh, who I would be friends with? Like what countries? Like others. Like, like, so you have like an. Um, to to one the Mr. International, right? So what what do you think is your strength to become strength, oh, strength. strength. Okay. Yeah. Oh my strength. Well I feel like, you know, my ability to like speak mm -hmm. and, you know, say what I what I'm thinking, mm -hmm. that's that's a real high advantage because I'm not really I'm not afraid to speak speak out what I think, what what's in my mind. And I feel that, you know, confidence is key and being really passionate about something and, you know, believing in your in your advocate, advocate, advocacy is very important. So what I'm doing right now, I'm just bringing, I'm bringing my true self out. I'm speaking what's on my mind, and I'm just being really truthful, and I'm really voicing my concern as much as possible because you don't want to hide these things. You don't want to be afraid. You don't want to be shy because you know it's all about you know being yourself and going out there. You know, getting your voice out there. Mm -hmm. So I feel like that's one of my biggest strengths and stuff. And I feel like I'm very, um, I'm really friendly. I could really, you know, I feel like I can make friends, and I don't have really a, a lot of problems with anybody. I can get along with anyone if I wanted to. Yeah. So that's like a high advantage as well, because mm -hmm. I could like, kind of like I'm a chameleon. I could camouflage into any situation, mm -hmm. and I can blend in very easily. Okay. So Peach Thảo, ว่าในฐานะที่จะไปแข่ง Miss Earth International ในเดือนเก็บตัวเดือนพฤศจิกาแล้วก็แข่งขันในเดือนธันวาคมเนาะอะไรคือจุดแข็งของจุดแข็งของคุณพอร่าที่จะแบบไปเอาชนะไปคว้ามงมาให้กับประเทศไทยก็จุดเด่นคอร่าก็คือว่าความเป็นตัวเองของคอร่าความที่จะพูดออกมาในสิ่งที่คอร่าเชื่อในเรื่องด้านโลกเราเนี่ยคอร่าแบบว่ามีความมุ่งมั่นมากที่อยากจะพูดออกมาแล้วให้คนฟังให้คนรู้เรื่องนี้คอร่ามีความที่แบบว่าเชื่อเรื่องด้านนี้แล้วบอกว่าอยากจะสื่อออกไปให้คนหลายๆคนได้ยินคอร่าแบบว่ามีความมั่นใจในนี้แล้วในการพูดของคอร่าเขารู้สึกว่านี่เป็น strength อันแรกเลยแล้วก็ strength ที่2คอร่าก็จะเป็นการที่แบบว่าคอร่าเข้าหาคนได้ง่ายคือคอร่าเข้ากับใครก็ได้คือแบบคอร่าไม่ค่อยซีเรียสเรื่อง personality เรื่องอะไรนะคอร่าแบบว่าเข้าไปได้หมดอ่ะสบายๆอ่ะค่ะมีอะไรไหม well Have me, 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 me. Well, probably we're going to wrap up, but we're going to just let both uh, interviewees to say a few words. Uh, maybe we'll start with the with Dr. Srikan first. Yeah. สุดท้ายอยากจะให้ทั้งสองท่านฝากอะไรถ้ามีอะไรอยากจะฝากทั้งผู้ชมทั้งกองเชียร์ทั้งอะไรอีกนะครับอัดเชิญดรสิริการก่อนเลยครับก็ขอบคุณมากนะคะผู้ติดตามที่ให้ความเมตตาแล้วก็ตอนนี้แฟนต่างนานาชาติของเราก็มากขึ้นอยู่แล้วนะคะแล้วก็แฟนคนไทยที่เป็นแฟนนางงามแล้วเข้าใจว่า Miss Earth Thailand กําลังทําอะไรอยู่ก็กําลังติดตามเราอยู่ก็ให้กําลังใจเราอย่างต่อเนื่องค่ะก็สัญญาไว้ตรงนี้นะคะว่าหน้าที่ของกองประกวดเนี่ยนอกจากที่จะทําให้นางงามเราได้มงกุฎเพื่อเป็นสัญลักษณ์ว่าเรามีผู้หญิงที่สวยที่สุดบุคลิกดีเยี่ยมที่สุดการสื่อสารประชาสัมพันธ์ดีที่สุดเนี่ยก็
มันคือการเข้าไปส่งตัวแทนของประเทศเราเข้าไปเปลี่ยนแปลงโลกร่วมกับตัวแทนของประเทศอื่นๆนะคะเพื่อทําให้โลกใบนี้มันดีขึ้นแล้วก็อยู่ได้ยาวนานมากขึ้นนั่นคือภารกิจหลักของ Miss e a r นานาชาติทั่วโลก95ประเทศทั่วโลก22ปีเป็นประกันค่ะขอบคุณค่ะ So I ask both of them and let's start with Dr. Sarikan to just leave a few words uh, to wrap up our interview this afternoon. Um, Dr. Sarikan said thank you for all the fans and all the support, um, not just from Thailand uh, but uh, the even uh, supporters and fans uh, abroad who are rooting for uh, Cara. Um, and she believes that Miss Earth Thailand will be able to continue to do good things for the environment to raise awareness. And uh, our representative, the Thai representative, will be able to make a difference in in the environment. And it has been 22 years for Miss Earth International, and uh, Dr. Srikanth will continue um, to be uh, holding the license and, and promoting Miss Earth International in the coming years. Uh, now, your turn, and of course, uh, English and Thai, please. <laughs> So I would just like to say thank you so much to you know, all my supporters from Thailand and the Philippines because oh, they, okay. have been, they have been one of the biggest supporters for me. I've been mm -hmm. getting a lot oh, of love wow. from them, and I really appreciate all your texts and messages. It's very heart heartwarming, and you know they're, they're not rooting for their own no, Miss, not, <laughs> Miss Earth very Philippines. <laughs> no, honestly, I've never seen a what's going on. Oh, okay, it's like they, you know, they text me like, "Oh my God, you're like, you know." I, yeah, they're really supportive, and they also give me really good advice on how I could change in something. Wow. And stuff. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, so you got dumb. You got dumb. You yeah, know, dumb. yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. The <laughs> fandom, the <laughs> Filipino. Fa okay, please continue. Sorry, yeah. I interrupted you. I was like, you know, I'll thank you guys all, and I thank my family so much, you know, for supporting me and pushing me to where the point I'm here now. Because it's been it's been a long journey, and I feel like I, you know, I did my very best, and but I couldn't be able to do it without my families, my You know my supporters, so I thank you guys so much. And please, you know, keep updated with Miss Earth Thailand's Facebook page. We're always, you know, posting there and you know, updating you guys on the day to day that we're doing for our planet and environment. We guess you guys can also um, follow me on my Instagram. It's coconut dot cora. That's where I post like you know every day my own thing. <laughs> so please just continue to support Miss Earth because you know there's many many um, positive things that comes out of this pageant. And I really want people, to, you know, more and more people to watch, so that we can help change our planet together. ก็ขอบคุณทั้งสองท่านมากๆเลยนะคะที่มาร่วมคุยแล้วก็ให้สัมภาษณ์เป็นกันเองน่ารักมากๆเลยนะคะแล้วก็ขอบคุณผู้ชมที่ติดตามรับชมการอินเทอร์วิวของเราในวันนี้ก็ขอเป็นกําลังใจเนาะให้กับเวทีมิสเอิร์ธไทยแลนด์ในการแข่งขันในการไปคว้ามงมาให้ประเทศไทยของเราด้วย So thanks to our guest and uh, you know stay tuned we do a bilingual interview once in a while so have a good afternoon goodbye สวัสดีครับสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะ